probably the most achievable one that we get access to as U.S. residents. So in BC and Alberta, there it's required as a non-resident to hire an outfitter. But in all these other states, those are all places you can hunt self-guided. The odds of drawing a sheep tag now are so slim almost anywhere that um, pe- people don't realize this, but there are gonna be more guys die without a grand slam that because of the big horn than any other sheep. Right now, the hardest one to get is a big horn. I get more calls from guys that have been applying for 50 years, 40 years, 30 years that need a big horn than anything else. There's, there's quite a few deserts available. Big horns are the, the, the bottleneck right now because there's 19 tags you could purchase, 19 to 25 tags you could purchase in the US. Um, these are auction tags, they're expensive. They're between, I think the cheapest one last year went from 55,000 to 500, you know, 485,000, the most expensive one out there. But you also have the most opportunity to draw these. There's more of them, you know, like for example, Wyoming gives, you know, a couple hundred bighorns a year. So um, it's one of those that you, you, you have to apply. Um, y- you, you're gonna wanna think long-term on the bighorn because um, you, you wanna apply everywhere you can. Guided hunts in British Columbia and Alberta, the success rate is not tremendously high, probably around 25 to 40%. Um, they're between twenty-five and $40,000, um, but there is some opportunities and, and they do come up.